Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, that is such a frivolous, uh, irresponsible statement by the uh, House Leader of the official opposition. I don't really need to uh, respond to it. Uh, first off, this is confidence and supply. As he is well aware, this has already happened in numerous legislatures in, in this country. Secondly, I would ask through you, Mr. Speaker, that the official opposition House Leader actually consult the political science text 101 so you understand a coalition government is quite different from a confidence and supply agreement. Uh, uh, and I also would like to say, Mr. Speaker, uh, this invented history is simply not helpful to the House. I would also like to say to you, Mr. Speaker, today that the conduct of Conservative MPs and Bloc MPs was reprehensible. It was juvenile. It was unbecoming of parliamentarians. Now, Mr. Speaker, we empower you to do numerous things, including keeping order in the House. And I would respectfully ask you, since you have those powers, to take questions from the Conservatives and the Bloc if they continue this reprehensible conduct. Uh, if we have question period tomorrow and they simply do not listen to the very clear directives that you give on our behalf, you have the ability and I think the responsibility to take questions away from them uh, it was simply reprehensible conduct, and it is not acceptable in the House of Commons of Canada. Uh, continue on the point of order from the Honourable Member for Sandwich Gulf Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also wish to respond to the point of order put forward by the Honourable Member for Barris, from um, uh, <laughs> no, Barry Innisfil, and Honourable House Leader for the Official Opposition. Uh, having some personal experience with two confidence and supply agreements, just to put this into the record, the confidence and supply agreement that existed in the province of British Columbia between the British Columbia Green Party and the British Columbia New Democrats was far more detailed and I think more robust, but in that context, the British Columbia Green MLAs remained as members of opposition parties and had all the privileges that attained to that. I'd also mention the conf confidence and supply agreement that took place in New Zealand between the Labour Party there, led by Jacinda Ardern, and the Green Party of New Zealand, in which case they actually held cabinet positions within their confidence and supply agreement, but were still treated as an opposition party within the Parliament of New Zealand, which is also, like us, a Westminster Parliament. One last point, Mr. Speaker, while I have the floor, I want to extend an official apology to the Honourable Member for Barris Innisfil. Barry Innisfil, yesterday, I I believe that no one in my office had been contacted about the unanimous consent motion. I wish to formally, fully, with deep contrition, apologize to the Honourable Member for doubting that we had been consulted. We were. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir Lamem, uh, Sir Lamem. On the same point.